What's the best mind trick you know of? Welcome back, peeps. Today, we will be checking out some cool Reddit threads. I bet all of you have been tricked once or twice, either with a card or with some other way you didn't see coming. These cool experiences are definitely going to keep you hinged and tangle your gray matter. Without further ado, let's get started with a rather mundane but strong one. I think that trick where you ask somebody a question and you don't say anything at all. They will try to fill the silence and oftentimes they will give you more detail than before. Considering the prep time, you definitely should try this one. If you feel cold, keep convincing yourself that only your feet are cold and you otherwise feel just fine and warm. I've been able to make myself believe that it's really just my feet and suddenly I feel warm. Because when your feet are cold, you feel like your whole body is cold. Tricking oneself sure does seem easy than tricking another person. And the next one probably is a household trick, I concur. The one where you wiggle a pencil while also moving it up and down and then it looks like it's bending. If you haven't done this, have you been living under a rock? This one involves a small group of people. You pick a target in a public place. My friends did this on a college campus, but malls and streets work too. And you split up and follow the target around. Every now and then, walk past them and whisper things along the lines of, you wake up. You're dreaming. This isn't real. And whatnot. Either they ignore it, or they begin to freak out. As antisocial as it may seem, we are all suckers for cheap tricks like these. If you want to integrate yourself with your boss or your coworker, ask for a favor. If someone does something for you, they are likely to be more favorably disposed towards you. Definitely a must try. Stick your index fingers out on one hand and your thumb up on the other hand. Rest your fingers closed. Now switch them. I failed miserably. How about you? When trying to memorize a list of things, make them into an anagram by using the first letter of each thing you want to remember and make a sentence out of it. The funnier or more outrageous the sentence is, the easier it is to remember. Surprisingly, it works, but the weird story through the anagram will remain a secret. Stare at the back of someone's neck. Some of them rub their neck with their hand. Others turn around, and some get a shiver down their spine. My favorite. Turning around just to see someone staring at you definitely would send shivers. Ask someone what year it is, then run away yelling, It worked! Finally, it worked! Would people buy that these days? Yep, this sounds swell. When reciting a list, mention the item you want most remembered last, as this is the item most people will remember first when thinking back. AKA, first in, last out, last in, first out. Make sure yours is the last call. The next one is kinda cute. If you're with someone, you can tell they're focused on you if you sniff or cough and they do the same. Works in reverse, too. Sometimes I catch myself doing it. Cupid who? Number one, to get away with a minor lie, include something embarrassing about yourself. Why would you lie and embarrass yourself? Number two, when trying to get around people or around questioning, give the person a small thing they want to see. So if you're, say, stealing $10, steal nine quick and then act like you're trying to just take the $1 left. Does that make sense? If not, I'll explain it better. Kinda makes everyone suspicious these days. Make a clockwise circle with your foot and while doing so, draw a six in the air with your finger. Do it alone. Don't make yourself look silly. Learn this one secondhand from a smuggler. People tend to notice things they're looking for, and once they don't find it, or even better, they do find it, they ignore everything else. So if you want to slip something by someone, make sure they catch you on something that doesn't matter, and they won't focus on what you're hiding. The story behind this is that in Berlin, while the wall was up, there was this smuggler who used to ride every day from East Berlin into West Berlin, or perhaps it was vice versa, I don't remember, 
with a bag of sand while on the back of his bicycle. Every time, the checkpoint guards would cut open the bag of sand, search through it, find nothing, and let him go on his way. Every night, he would return. They never realized that he was smuggling bicycles. Like a magician with his misdirection. In class, if it's a presentation where someone has to present without looking at notes or anything like that, and while they're up front of the classroom presenting, some people forget what they're talking about, space out, freak out, or lose their train of thought. To counter this, nod your head at the end of each sentence they say, confirming what they're saying. They will somehow use this as a motivator, and 9 times out of 10 will keep presenting without fault. This one is a lifesaver. If you're in a crowded social group, restaurant, bar, party, etc., and you want to know if someone is checking you out, try this. Turn sideways from them. They will be either 90 degrees left or right of you. And then, very obvious, look at your watch. Even if you don't wear one, lift your wrist. And then point at your watch and nod thoughtfully. Overacting is perfectly acceptable. If they are keeping tabs on you, even peripherally, they will have a sudden urge to know the time and will either look at their own watch, cell phone, or casually look at the various obvious places where someone would put a clock. Edit. So yawning seems to be another method. However, do you think the world's most interesting man would be more likely seen yawning or looking at his watch in a social setting? Hitting the pub to try this one out. I hypnotized myself into quitting smoking. Every time I had the impulse to light up, I simply told myself, what a strange thing for a non-smoker to think. Eventually, I convinced myself that the cravings were anonymous and could be safely ignored. A life hack that all smokers need. I was at the front row of a concert and needed to get out mid-show. No one was letting me by. I decided to fake like I was about to throw up. The crowd parted for me like I was Moses. Worked all the way through the crowd. Not one person stood in my way for more than a second. And when I got out, I just walked away normally. Troll face. This never gets old. We save the best for last, and this is definitely what prevents your mom from smacking you. If you're trying to find something, try looking right to left as opposed to left to right. Your eyes tend to skim over things if you search in the direction that you're used to reading in. So skim the opposite way. It takes me a bit more effort to do this, but I notice more details. Moms use these tricks, so why don't you? A sucker for mind tricks and hacks? Follow us for more videos like these by subscribing and hitting all the notifications.